Welcome to our tutorial on solving systems of equations using the elimination method. In this lesson, we will consider solving a system of equations by first adding the equations together in a way that will give us an equation that has only one variable in it. As we saw when we started solving equations, as long as you are fair to both sides, you can do pretty much anything to an equation. But how can we add equations together? A key to remember as we start to answer this question is the fact that though we often say you have to add the same thing to both sides, we really mean that you have to add equal things to both sides. Consider the system of equations 3x plus 5y equals 18 and 6x minus y equals 3. Since 6x minus y equals 3, we could add the 6x minus y to the left side of the first equation, 3x plus 6x equals 9x, and 5y minus y equals 4y. So we get 9x plus 4y. At the same time, we can add 3 to the right side of the first equation to get 21. We are still being fair because we're adding equal values to both sides of the equation. In this example, adding the equations like this doesn't help us solve the system, but we'll see later what we can do first to make it work. Now that we know how to add two equations together, we need to be able to do it in a way that eliminates one of the variables. The key to this whole process is to get one of the variables to have opposite coefficients in the two equations. If we look at another system, 3x plus 4y equals 18 and negative 3x plus y equals negative 3, we can see what this means. When we add the equations together this time, notice the x's on the left side of the two equations. One has a plus 3x and the other has a minus 3x, opposite coefficients. This way, when we add them together, the x's cancel out to 0, leaving only a 5y on the left side. Adding the right sides together gives us 18 minus 3, which is 15. Now we have 5y equals 15, an equation with only one variable, so we can divide both sides by 5 to get y equals 3. Now that we know the y coordinate of our solution, we need to substitute it into one of the equations to find the value of x. We can substitute it into either equation, so I'll just use the first one to get 3x plus 4 times 3 equals 18. This gives us 3x plus 12 equals 18, so we can subtract 12 from both sides to get 3x equals 6, then divide both sides by 3 to get x equals 2. Now we have our final answer. The solution is the point 2, 3. So what do we do if the equations don't have opposite coefficients to begin with? We use algebra to make them opposites. You might remember that this is the first system we looked at. 3x plus 5y equals 18, and 6x minus y equals 3. And when we added the equations together, neither variable was eliminated. What we can do, however, is notice that since the first equation has a plus 5y, and the second equation has a minus 1y, we just need to multiply the second equation by 5 to get the minus 5y we need to eliminate the y's when we add the equations together. When we multiply this second equation by 5, making sure we are fair to every part, we get the equation 30x minus 5y equals 15. When we add the equations together this time, notice the y's on the left-hand side of the two equations now have opposite coefficients and will cancel out to zero, leaving only a 33x on the left side that we got from adding 3x plus 30x. Adding the right sides of the equations together gives us 18 plus 15, which is 33. 
So now we have 33x equals 33, an equation with only one variable. So we can divide both sides by 33 to get x equals 1, which is the x-coordinate of our solution. Now that we know that, we need to substitute it into one of the equations to find the value of y. We can substitute it again into either equation, so I'll use the first one to get 3 times 1 plus 5y equals 18. This gives us 3 plus 5y equals 18, so we can subtract 3 from both sides to get 5y equals 15, then divide both sides by 5 to get y equals 3. Now we have our final answer. The solution is the point 1, 3. For our final example, let's look at one that's a bit more complex. 6x plus 2y equals negative 10, and negative 4x plus 7y equals 40. Without using fractions, there's no way to multiply only one of the equations by a value to get opposite coefficients for either of the variables. So the key here is to think in terms of the least common multiple. Remember that the least common multiple is the smallest number that both of the numbers will go into evenly. Since the x's have one positive coefficient and one negative, let's find the least common multiple of 6 and 4 to get us started. 4 does not go into 6, but if we look at the next multiple of 6, which is 12, we find that 4 does go into that three times. So 12 is the least common multiple of 6 and 4. Our goal now is to get a plus 12x in the first equation and a minus 12x in the second equation. To do this, we are going to multiply the first equation by 2 to get 12x plus 4y equals negative 20. Notice that I was careful to be fair and multiply all three terms by 2. Next, we are going to multiply the second equation by 3 to get negative 12x plus 21y equals 120. Again, be fair and multiply all three terms by 3. Now we have the opposite coefficients we needed. When we add the equations together, notice the x's will cancel out to 0 leaving only a 25y on the left side. Adding the right sides together gives us negative 20 plus 120, which is 100. Now we have 25y equals 100, an equation with only one variable, so we can divide both sides by 25 to get y equals 4. Now that we know the y-coordinate of our solution, we need to substitute it into one of the equations to find the value of x. Again, we can substitute it into either of the two original equations, so I'll use the first one to get 6x plus 2 times 4 equals negative 10. This gives us 6x plus 8 equals negative 10, so we can subtract 8 from both sides to get 6x equals negative 18, then divide both sides by 6 to get x equals negative 3. Now we have our final answer. The solution is the point negative 3, 4. So now that you've seen a number of examples of solving by elimination, work through some of the activities to try to solve some for yourself using this method.